So far, it's been all Billy. Billy's been hitting all of his free throws. He's been very clutch. If you want to be a championship team, you got to hit your free throws. Nice job, Billy! That's good thinking! That's good thinking, Billy! Feel good, man. We're playing good on offense. Defense is really solid. These guys are not bad, but we're playing good. We're playing real good. We're being aggressive but smart. We're forcing them to make plays. Everything's perfect. Everything's perfect. Good switching. No, no. Good switch. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I, I love it. I love it. Dude, the boys are ripping right now. I keep getting so many free throws, I don't know what to do with them. <laughs> oh! Sorry, push! <laughs> Billy's acting like I can't handle a fucking sin in the middle of a basketball game. It just makes me want to do it. I only got one foul in, which was a little disappointing. I like to get two or three in the first half. I packed us in when I got back on the bench. We'll see if I get any more minutes. We actually started to gel in the third game, and it felt good. Great ball movement. Uh, I love the energy, making free throws. We got to work on keeping the defensive tempo more consistent, but I'm really happy. Very encouraged. It's been a team effort. Thank you. I mean, just a great showing, offensively, defensively. Playing unselfish basketball, sharing the ball, not taking stupid shots, and we're up by a million, so I feel good about it. That's a high IQ play, Billy. High IQ play, Nick. Game three is when I personally felt like I hit my stride. Offense was moving great. I found the best way to contribute. Got the double double, was going hard. It was a physical game, I remember. And, you know, I just outbodied them. Just told them to get their weight up. You know, can't stop this train. enough I think we're a fucking fantastic team I think we're a great team coach is doing a great job I think coach is taking it seriously I said stay smart because you guys have been smart all fucking game they've been smart all fucking game they've been this is the highest IQ I've seen from this team every week we get smarter we get better it's just so encouraging huge morale game the boys were shooting and making and honestly I think everyone was just feeling great great job Nick. when John Rich is getting extended minutes that's how you know we're playing well Every single one of the guys did something great on that play. Every, all five on that one play. That's something you do not see the first week. This is like when fucking UConn or something's playing like a D2 school and they pull the starters. The boys can rest easy. We got the walk-ons in the game. Yeah, vibes were high. It was almost like I, I had chills running through my veins. When I hit that second three, I'm going like this, everyone's going, Mario! Like, I couldn't believe I hit the second one, but I knew it. I'm, I'm a cold-hearted shooter out there. So what's it? Cold-blooded, cold-blooded shooter. Everyone just felt good about this win, and we killed them. We killed them. Oh, boy. Hey. What the fuck, guys? What the fuck? Let's some That was great, guys. We forced them to make erroneous plays. We forced them to have to be on their heels. We were the aggressor. We were always smart. I, I'm, I'm a lady. I, I, have no, I have nothing negative to say, only positive. Good team, Dub. Very proud of my guys today. Very proud of Billy. He's really coming into form. Billy, great Billy. job. I mean, that was incredible. It was really smart. It was nice. It was a nice, decisive win. Very uh, celebratory tone from the team. That, that was just, that was a fun, that was a, that was a very fun time. We had a great time. Are we like, are we good? Kind of good. No, no, we're not. <laughs> no? Yeah, I don't think that was, no.
Well, oh, it's all compared. They all compared. I, we were fucking playing, so yeah. A little bit. Tonight, tonight, I can't speak for next week. Tonight, damn. Do you not see how we keep improving? Like, we get so much better every week. And that's all I care about. And we, every time. It's, I'm sure. so fucking happy. That was the first coach in the best way that actually cares about the players. Me too. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. I think you guys, you guys killed it. Man. Are you having one or no? Coach Clummer's got a fucking round for everybody. A round on coach. Beer with the beer guy? Yeah. Get in there, John Red. Clummer, get in here. As a reporter, can I get in here? y'all. Great team dump. We're still undefeated, technically. Undefe oh, not technically, we are undefeated. Oh, great team win. We blew him out. As a team the captain, already. I want to say this is for Clemmer. Clemmer has been a great coach. He's been a great coach. I love him. All right. Cheers. Let's go. You guys are great team. It's going to be hard to shoot. Jumpers, probably hard to go left. The last week, my performance offensively was poor. So it, I might as well have had a severed finger anyway. So I'm just going to kind of try to replicate the performance outside of shooting because I hustled a lot, got some boards, played good defense. The big thing right now is Hub's a point guard. Marty is out tonight. Uh, he will not be playing at just all. play team basketball. Don't turn the ball over us win the game. Keep going. We have a good thing going. Don't fuck it up. Could be a letdown game. It's a letdown game situation, but we're good. We got it. Fourth game of the season, we definitely had a bunch of momentum, but we also knew this was going to be a fight right from the start. I think a lot of times when we were coming out to the game, people would see the camera and it would ignite the shit talk a little bit, but this team specifically had a little something extra for us. Their point guard was super loud, super aggressive, but not necessarily like consistently mean. Yep. I like the chippiness, but it didn't seem like it was regular chippiness. Yeah, I think, oh, shut up. You can't handle it, bro. That's how you got to shove me, right? Why are we supposed to be quick? Hey, bitch. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 Time out. Time out. Let's go. Hey, come on. We are just playing with our asses instead of our heads right now. I, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I'm seeing none of the defensive intensity I saw the last two weeks. I'm seeing stupid fouls. Get your heads out of your fucking ass. Yes. They had this one dude who was just a silent killer. Like, he didn't talk any shit. He basically just went out there and got buckets, and he was nice. You want to come with me? You got a lot to say. You're the, you're the one tripping the whole thing. Right, fine, I'll shut up. I mean, what do you want to do? You don't, I mean, so not only do we have the other team talking shit to us, we had our own team talking shit to us, which is never good. Uh, and the game was just, you know, getting really intense. And I knew that we just had to be more physical, we had to get more rebounds, we had to play great defense, and just be the tougher team. Yes! That's an end one! I mean, the tensions in this game were, were pretty hot throughout. The game was so chippy. Guys were talking trash during free throws, throwing elbows, and it was just one of those games was like, this is a war. We got to go hard. We got to go even harder. Right, that's a good point. Yo, yo, it's a good point. Yo, stay shut. Come off the bench. Yo, don't get angry for Momentum going into the half. That's all you can ask for. Momentum. Yeah. 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 Every team. That wow. was incredible defense. Can I, can I grab them? I'm sorry. Can yes. I, can I just, grab, yeah. just real quick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. I know this is a tough, chippy game. I get it. I know it's been chippy. Oh, they're in my head so bad. Uh, no, fuck it. Go back they're harder. In my head, Go back harder. Why also, the they are not? so soft on pick and roll. So they don't soft. switch. They don't hedge. They don't do shit. Talk so. right. some shit. Have some fun. Let's go. Uh, listen, just trying to make a play for the team, you know. Uh, it's a trippy game out there, and uh, just wanted to get one more before half. By far our most aggressive game this year. There we go, Nick! Just want to keep the same defensive intensity as we saw at the end of the first half. 
Time out, time out, time out! Time out first! I told him time out first! Oh, come on, you hurt me! The game just kept going back and forth and it was tight and it just felt like we couldn't pull away. That's an assist, Jet Ski! I played out of my fucking mind. <laughs> I did. <laughs> yes, Dana! Yes! There we go! Nick, we gotta start hitting the boards, start hitting bodies, you know, box out, clear out the paint, and get it going. Went up to grab the ball over like five dudes, came down, stepped on a foot, and then literally the worst injury I've ever had in my life. Like, literally have broken my back, I've fractured my foot, I've torn ligaments in my knee, I've, you know, twisted my ankle several times. That was the worst pain I have felt. Immediate. It was quick and it subsided, but basically what I was feeling was part of my bone getting ripped off by my ankle ligaments. When Billy rolled his ankle, it was honestly like shock. Like that was kind of everyone's vibe. Seeing Billy go down the way he did in that much pain, like agony, like screaming. I didn't know what it was. I don't know if it was a fracture, he tears Achilles, whatever. But like, that's our big guy. You know, and then the kind of the, just the tone shifts a little bit. It's like, oh, I'm worried about Billy. I'm also worried about the team. I'm worried then, is our team gonna lose focus? and be kind of just either try to play hero ball or do things that are not mentally sound. All right, it's okay. <laughs> Dana became a beast. Dana completely became, even his whole face changed, and Dana just went, uh, he, he went into a different level that I hadn't seen from him all season. It was insane what I did on that court that night. Billy got hurt and I turned into LeBron. 25 and 15, are we kidding? That's, that's Jokic, that's Embiid. Keeping his focus the whole second half. And we won the game much easier, in a much easier fashion than I would have expected when Billy went down. That was a fucking clinic by old Pierce. Any reports on the health of Billy football? He says the pain has subsided a little bit. I'm 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 worried about him. Um, I'm guessing it's just a sprain, but I'm not a doctor. Way to get the win, boys. Way to go, guys. That was a really tough one. I know it got a little heated there, but I think you, I'm just really happy with how you guys did. Great job. Great win, guys. We're undefeated for a reason. People are wondering if uh, we're better without Marty. I'm not. <laughs> See, by the way, huge hustle plays. Great job. Another win. I mean, uh, this is just, we just keep rolling and keep getting better. This was a tough one mentally, more than physically, but great job. That's all I got. Let's get out of here. Yeah. I'm going to do my own interview right now because. That's what we do around. It's crazy that I'm walking the streets of New York City and I'm walking by tons of people, tons of people that have no idea that I went 25 and 15. Did you hear anything about uh, 25 and 15? 27 and 15 for who, Billy? Nope. Nick Mulcahy? Nope. John Frank
Beersy. Beersy, old Beersy, 20, was it 25 and 15? 25 and 15, we haven't seen something like that in the men's league, I don't think ever. When injuries happen like that, I think teams go one of two ways. Either you lose focus and you kind of let the game fall away, which I think actually happened to that other team we played. They fucking completely lost their way. We went the other way. Dana Beers became a a different human being. His whole, like, I'm talking to you now, like, but your whole face, his whole face changed. Old Beers, he can just go out and get 25 and 15 every night, then God only knows what's possible. Championships, Euro League. G League, anything is possible if I can go out there and put 25 and 15. People on. talking about 25 and 15 over. Yeah. Oh yeah, production? it was a heroic performance. It was. Are people over here talking about it? I mean, I'm trying to get the buzz going. Are more people talking about your your layup? <laughs> my one single layup? Uh, no, that's not being talked about. But my defensive effort, very much. I'm a gritty player. I'm just a gritty guy. And at the end of the day, I don't chirp. I don't talk. I'm like a quiet storm. Okay. I just bring the thumb. And the only thing I could think about after this game, other than how incredibly I played, was we might be better without Marty. Marty's not going to be point anymore. He hasn't just found out his doubt now. We need sides up front. So Marty is going to now, bizarrely, Magic Johnson style, I'm going to have Marty uh, move over to center for next game. What? That ball was flowing. That ball was moving. It wasn't getting stuck. There was one bald man that was not in attendance. I need to play point. Why not? Coach! Sit. No! We don't, Marty. Hey, hey! Fucking sit. No, we're not well, why are you looking at me? Sit. He's the one. Obviously, not having Billy is tough. He's really, really improved since game one when he took 18 shots. He has learned his role, which is offensive boards and putbacks and set screens. I feel good, though. I feel real good. This team is coming together. This team is really coming together. I am worried, obviously, for the long term of the team. We don't have uh, we don't have Billy next week. We don't have um, Mulcahy next week. So that's kind of my focus right now is next week. Try to make next week somehow. Next work. week is a big opportunity. We got no Nick, no Billy. We got no Nick, no Billy. So we need side. It's the Dana Marty game, is and it, they're not a very good team. So who is it? I think they're last. They might. I think Ken Jack might be getting minutes. <laughs> Chris Clemmer might be getting minutes. Yeah, so Dana's going to start uh, the game of the bench. Uh, he compared this team to the 06-07 uh, Cavaliers. Basically compared himself to Le LeBron James in a public tweet. Just can't have that. So he's going to start the game with me. I respect Coach Clemmer and his decision making. I understand the reasoning. But you look at this team, they have two forfeits. They look like a bunch of athletes. So I don't know. Five, four, three, two, hold up. Who on the I would all already have to First of all, relax. Despite Coach Clemmer's extremely, extremely questionable decision to sit me, the boys were still hanging tough. I was proud of them. The next game, I was riding high, and I was like, oh, Nick and Billy aren't here? I can go for 35 and 20 this time. Right now, we're 3-0 oh, and 1, so we're on top of the world. With me gone, I didn't want to say it, but they basically lost their shutdown defender. For the most part of the season, I was getting on the guy who was giving the most buckets and just, you know, giving him a hard time, getting his head, talking shit, but also like making stops. Time out! Time out! We're just all above the elbow right now. Down low with Dana when he's on the court. Yeah. Our offense is a mess. Like, mess. Like a real like, open, shoot the fucking yeah. Slow down. We are playing dog shit. Yeah. No, just slow dog shit offense is a great defense. Just yeah, keep that same. Yeah. We're doing great on defense. The hustle's there. The shots will come. We're just, uh, well, we'll just organize our offense. <laughs> if we lose Billy, we lose Nick. Nick's a big part of our offense. So, not have him, we're feeling it tonight. It was again a chippy game, 
but kind of still in the pickup basketball spirit. You're gonna talk shit, you're gonna let your mouth run. Yeah, this is a tough one. We were out, out man with, with losing the two guys up top, you know, right from the whole game. So we we're always at disadvantage and I felt like I felt that way. I think the whole team felt that way. So we I think we're getting a little too chippy, a little too aggressive. I can't fucking shoot. We have to space. Our offense is fucking I feel like trash. the middle up top like that. Pick well, up top is doing me at the foul line, so somebody's open. All of our shots have been on the basket that we made. Like they've all been there. And, and you're right. I think you guys are open, but I also think like these threes we've been doing. I know some of the panic. Like we're 0 for 4 on threes. Like that. We only have 13 points. They're struggling. They're playing a zone defense, which we haven't encountered yet. So we're trying to run a different things. So we're trying to maybe move some more baseline movement. Might help. Um, I like that more. <laughs> And they got under our skin for sure. And they had one really good kid who was just bullying us down low. Letting them come to us, we're going to them. And whatever you're doing, that, that mentality, keep that. That was great. It was aggressive. It was exactly the kind of stuff we did last week. We uh, didn't have Billy, our offensive rebounder. We didn't have our number one shoot, like score. Oh. And it was getting like a little chip. So, like they knew what they were doing. Oh. You're right, Marty. We're playing like fucking idiots. Yeah. We're playing like fucking bums. It was tough to kind of piece everything together and without Billy there as the main cog down low to like get rebounds, put a body on their best big guy, like, yeah, that sucked. In the last couple of minutes, it kind of just felt like the dude with the knee brace really just wore us down. I mean, he was going to work. And then on the offensive end, we just struggled, man. We just we could not put the ball in the goddamn hoop. And then at the end of the game, we're down four, 45 seconds. He gives me like a hard foul or whatever. I think I called him a small, I said he was too small. I like, get off me, little boy. And then Marty comes out of nowhere. I don't know what he did. I think he was just yelling at him. I don't think he put hands on him, really. And then we, we hear whistles. Game's over. Game's over? What? I, I get when things go too far. We were not getting in a fight anytime soon. I understand if you're trying to protect us and you don't want anyone to get hurt. I wasn't throwing punches. Marty wasn't throwing punches. They weren't throwing punches. We're just talking a little bit of shit. When that game was called, I was shocked. I didn't know what happened. I thought for a second Marty had just, or someone had just gotten thrown out. I had never, honestly, I'd never once thought for a second the game was going to be called. I think there might have been partially some fault on me because I grabbed one of the kids when that happened, like right before it got called, but I was grabbing him to like, kind of almost diffuse the situation. When you start talking and you're getting up in each other's face, I have to avoid that. So let's keep playing. It's a four point game. Done, sir. It is over. I'm a neutral observer or something. I'm obviously working. I'm still flabbergasted that got called. That got called. Right. Yeah. I'm, they call the game. I, 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 I thought when he threatened to call the game, it was never gonna happen. Like, I thought it was just an empty threat. He actually called Can't me. hit Dana in the chest. I was like, get the fuck out of his face. And I was very close to his face. And then he called. It wasn't a problem. Let's finish the fucking game. They were, were, really free free throw throw sure. were 47 seconds left. It's, like, it's, not, it's not like we had a whole half. We weren't great offensively tonight, but we missed two of our better offensive players.
You couldn't adjust it. <laughs> you think you can take me with Snapchat? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know <laughs> I know this is this is uh, dramatic, but it was a bit of an injustice there. Like as far as rec league basketball, that was an injustice. To walk away with not even having a decision is kind of frustrating. What are we doing? I, I'm 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 pissed. I don't take kindly to Clemmer holding power over Everything me. I say, you just have some weird, I guess, antagonistic. This is like, oh, this is real, and it's like not fun. Like, I'm, I'm good, I'm good. Oh, oh, fuck, 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 fuck. I was calling out Jet Ski. I, I used the word liability. So what else do you want? You can't hold the fucking ball. Dana especially with the, this was a lousy teammate. Oh. For as much shit as we gave Billy, we need him. We need that man in the middle. We need Billy football. Starting on up, you're going to be playing on Wednesday or playoff. That's correct. I'll play. I don't, I don't think people realize just how much this means to me. Coach, regular season's over. It's the playoffs. But I like our chances as much as anybody. This is the playoffs. That's crazy to say, but like this was the best game we played all year.